In this video, I'm going to show you how you can improve how you look and potentially how you sound by using your iPhone as a webcam. You're probably tired of that grainy, low quality video that you get with your built in USB camera. Well, Apple's come out with a solution and it's called Continuity Camera that allows you to connect your Mac running Ventura and your iPhone running iOS 16, essentially turning your iPhone into a high quality webcam. So in this video, I'm going to quickly show you how to set it up and I'm going to run through some of the features so that you can better understand how you can look and sound better in your video conferencing calls. So setting it up is relatively easy. The first thing that you want to do is fire up your preferred video conferencing platform. In this case, I'm just going to demonstrate it using WebEx, but it could be Zoom, it could be Microsoft, it could be FaceTime. You then want to go to video settings and choose your iPhone as the camera. You can also choose your iPhone as the microphone. Now you want to make sure that you set your phone to do not disturb mode to avoid any interruptions from incoming calls. So the last thing that you want to consider is that you need to stabilize the phone. So you can buy a bracket that attaches the phone to the back of the laptop, or if you've got a small tripod lying around the house, you can use that as well. Just make sure that the back cameras are facing you because those are the cameras that continuity camera will use. Now let's dive into some of the video settings. You can access those video settings by clicking on the command center icon in the upper right of your Mac screen. So the first setting you'll see is portrait mode, and basically that's background blur. Now Zoom, WebEx, Microsoft Teams all have background blur, but there's something about the iPhone background blur that just looks a little bit more refined, so you might want to check that out. The second feature is a feature called Studio Light, and what that does, it dims the background and illuminates your face. Now this is supposed to work really well in difficult lighting situations, maybe where you have a lot of backlight. And then there's my favorite feature, which is called Center Stage. So what Center Stage does, it keeps you centered in the frame no matter where you move around the room. So this is useful if you like to pace or walk around during a conference call. Just be sure to wear a Bluetooth headset so that you can still be heard. Remember, you won't be near your microphone, so you need to have that headset on so people can still hear you. Now, there's a couple of voice modes as well. There's one called voice isolation mode, which gives priority to your voice and minimizes background noise. So if you're in a noisy environment with kids or if you live in the city and you got sirens outside your window, you wanna turn voice isolation mode on. The second one is called wide spectrum mode, which captures not only your voice, but all the sounds around you. So you want to have this enabled. Maybe if you have music that you want people to hear, uh, you want to have that mode turned on. And then the final feature is something called Desk View. And what Desk View has the ability to do is show your desk and your face at the same time using the wide angle camera. Now I've experimented with this a little bit and played around with it. You know, it's it's pretty interesting as a feature, but it's still got a little bit of quirks to it. So I would say try it out and let me know what you think. Now, for some reason, you're trying to set this thing up and it's not working for you. I'd recommend uh, just go to support.apple.com and search for continuity camera, and then it'll do a deeper dive in what the prerequisites are for this feature and how to set it up. Now, if you've got a Windows PC, you might be saying, well, I can't use my iPhone as a webcam but all's not lost. There are third-party apps out there. There's one called Camo that allows you to use your iPhone as a USB camera. Now the feature set in Camo is a little bit different than Continuity Cam, so I'll probably cover that in a future video so you can see what Camo is all about in a Windows environment. So I really hope that you found this video helpful and you're excited to start using Continuity Camera to improve how you look on your video calls. So if you did, Please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.